Hello and welcome back and today I want to talk about a brand new QNAP. I want to talk about the TS451D. Right, so let's talk about this 451D. This is the brand new 4x from QNAP that is another part of their D series of devices with that newer generation CPU family. It is an interesting device, but before we get too excited, it's worth highlighting that a number of people have been informing me that this is probably gonna be a China only product. It's gonna be one of those solutions that we hear about over here, but we don't get our hands on, which is a real shame if that does happen to be the case, because this is a very interesting device. A lot of the hardware inside is kind of what a lot of mid-range NAS consumers have been asking for. There's always been this means of most NAS brands out there to release solutions that are tiered towards very small basic budget home and then business and there's these little bits that fall in between the QNAP have got things like the K series and the X2 and stuff like that that kind of fall in these gaps but they always seem to wreak a little bit of compromise in places and then you see a NAS like this the 451D which is kind of the spiritual successor to ones like the 451i and uh, 451 plus but this device has actually ticked a lot of boxes and with the hardware we've seen inside it's probably going to be quite affordable so maybe this will make it over here who knows but right now all indications i'm getting are this is china only so i thought rule let's knock that out early doors before you get your hopes up so let's talk about what we're getting here this is the 451d it arrives with that brand new Intel uh, J4000 series processor. This is the J4025. It's a 2.0 gigahertz processor that can be clocked up to 2.9, which is pretty damn impressive for a dual core CPU for a start. It also arrives with two or four gig of DDR4 memory that can be upgraded to eight gig. So straight away, let's face it, a lot of you are gonna compare this against what the, you would seemingly think is the two bay, the 251D. And remember, it might not make it over here, who knows but the 251d arrived with a dual core cpu and that was the j4005 this is a newer generation processor with a higher frequency as well it's even got the same um, hd graphics uh, embedded inside hd graphics 600 and uh, it arrives with aes ni uh, encryption level it arrived with 4k and 1080p transcoding which means it'll work pretty well in things like plex media server and maybe very early virtualization but definitely container and um you know those kind of linux based applications and of course it will support things like qvr pro and surveillance station along with qnap's other kind of top tier applications for home and business like q maggie like uh, q filing q search and of course uh, improvements to file station and hybrid mount and virtual jboard all of these things that we've talked about on the channel throughout the last six or seven months so this really is a great little entry point in terms of hardware for what you're getting and the price point is probably going to be something around a 300 quid mark i'd imagine it's going to be pretty damn popular too maybe erring into the 400s without tax we'll see now the chassis as i'm sure is already on screen is they're utilizing a very familiar chassis that we've seen in some of the newer generation 31 series and kind of is a hybrid of the ones of those uh, the 51a series um it arrives in this kind of charcoal black plastic chassis with a front blue metallic strip and if we look at the rear of the device we could talk about some of those ports in uh, the device has got two one gbe ports which i'm a little surprised by and i don't know if that's a scale you know to fit it somewhere between some of these 2.5 gbe solutions they're bringing out with and of course the 53d series that we talked about about a month ago um this device arriving with two 1 gbe ports it might have been nice to see those improvements in ports but that might have bumped up the price a bit and ruined the family portfolio who knows um but you're still gonna get you know in excess of 200 megabytes per second upload download which is still pretty good and it also arrives with an hdmi output so it's hdmi 2.0 so we are talking 4k 60 frames per second yum yum and it can be utilized in multimedia it can be used in things like plex as well and i know there's some issues out there between hd station and plex i think that's largely resolved now but do check out my video that i released about three week weeks ago to show you how to get hd station and plex working so plex via HDMI output and of course you can utilize keyboard video and mouse with the five USB 3 port uh, sorry the four USB 3 ports um, three on the rear one on the front 
And of course, those are USB 3.0 or USB 3.1 Gen 1 or USB 3.2 Gen 1, depending on what the hell you want to call USB these days. For God's sake, USB, make your mind up. Now, I mentioned those USB ports. It does have the standard one-click USB, one-touch button there on the front, which is always nice, uh, quite useful. I actually still utilize USB backups in my backup strategy, which is about four tiers deep by now. Um, so it's always nice that they're still maintaining that. And the chassis itself is plastic with um, metal, metal innards, so it's relatively quiet. And of course, those drives are it's a port up to on those click and load hard drive bays up to 14, 16 terabyte, depending if you can go with WD Red at 14 or Seagate Iron Wolf at 16. And of course, Seagate Iron Wolf ones they're going to arrive with a lot of that protection built in. You've got like this a Health Wolf Iron Iron Wolf Health Management. You've got the data recovery services. And yes, this is a plug, but it doesn't make it any less true, does it? Um, and ultimately, the device is a lovely little compact four bay that I think we should see more of because we are all waiting on the 53d series and it's going to be a real stormer and we've talked about a lot of the specs inside that and i really hope they reconsider the release of this 451d outside of china because i think there is a market for it here but time will tell because from what we're seeing particularly when i was looking at cpu benchmark and how this compares with the j4005 cpu that you find in the 251d this is actually a lovely little option for those that looked at the 251d went tick 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 loved it loved it loved it but it's only two bays this gives you another two bays although you do lose pcie we'll find out on that but this is everything we know about the 451d right now do check out the nas compare link in the description to learn more about it where we will talk a little bit more um in detail and of course we will upgrade the article as we learn more and of course visit the guys at span.com nas experts 25 years in the biz come on they know what they're doing so click like if you enjoyed this click subscribe to learn more and i'll see you next time.